Hi guys, I'm just making this tutorial because I had Dolby Atmos running on Windows 10 Pro as a home theatre with 7.1 speakers and like probably many other people when I finally decided to upgrade to Windows 11 it broke Atmos functionality so I'm here to show you how to fully install it on Windows 11 and all the files will be linked in the description so let's get into it so you want to stick on, click on the start menu click on the power button hold down shift and then click on restart now keep holding shift Go to troubleshoot, start up settings, then hit restart. So I'll just take a minute for my PC to boot back up. Then you want to scroll down to Disable Driver Signature Enforcement, click Enter. Then you want to right click on the Windows Start, go to Device Manager, scroll down and double click on Sound. Now we want to install it to our default sound device, so to find out, right click on the sound bar, go to Sound Settings, scroll down, go to More Sound Settings, and then you can see your default device there, which for me is the NVIDIA High Definition Audio. So, come back in here, then right click, go update driver, browse my computer for drivers, let me pick from a list. Now you're not going to see any of these in yours because I've already installed it before but I've uninstalled it for this video so I can show you exactly what to do. So you click on have disk, click on browse and then browse to where you've downloaded the files to. Now I've included a 32-bit and a 64-bit Windows 11 I'm pretty sure is only 64-bit so but I've included both files so you can use this for Windows 10 installation as well so go to 64-bit select home theater click on open go OK and now next yes now mine's just installed anyway because I've done it before but you'll be prompted with two options and you'll pick the bottom one which says install anyway and then hit OK. Close that. Now you can see that the Dolby driver has been loaded. I'll close that now. Go back to or go to where you've got your files downloaded and then install Dol Dolby Home Theatre. Next, next, install. Finish. Now we'll go back to our settings window. And you'll see that Dolby Home Theatre has been installed. Um, not 
quite fully yet, so I'll show you why. If you right click and you go on configure speakers, you'll see that home, Atmos for home theatre is in there now, but it won't let me update any of the configuration, so go cancel, right click, go to properties, and if you click on spatial sound, you'll see that it only has Windows Sonic for headphones. If we go to advanced, and click on the drop down box, you'll see the DTSX and Atmos for home theatres so there. Click on Atmos for home theatre. Now you have to download and install this, there's no way around it, but it doesn't matter because once it's installed, we won't be using it anyway. So download and install it. Close that. So now if we go back into it, right click properties and under spatial sound, click on the drop down box and now you can see that it has Dolby Atmos for headphones and Dolby Atmos for home theatre so you can choose either but I use mine for movies and stuff so and games if they support Atmos so click on that, go to advanced, click on the drop down box and then select Dolby Atmos for home theatre and then click OK. So one of the reasons that I chose this home theatre is because it turns up in your hidden icon section so you can just double click on that, click on the settings bar and then it'll open up the equaliser and you've got movie, music, game, you can fiddle with all the EQs and the settings in there and you can turn it on and off. So now I like to right click, go from configure speakers, click on next, Fat Moss for home theatre. So I've got the 7.1 set up, so it selects that. I've got front and left, surround speakers. Now Atmos takes a bit to load on my stereo, so when I click it, nothing will come out at first, but give it a second. So left, front, centre front, right front, subwoofer, ceiling right, rear right, rear left, ceiling left, next and go finish. So basically now you have it installed for headphones and for home theatre. You can see it loaded there. Basically I only have it turned on when I want to listen to something that's actually in that format so I don't want it turned on all the time. So then to change it back to normal you just right click, go to sound settings, scroll down, go to more sound settings, right click, click on properties and then go back to advanced and click on your drop down box and so for me I use the highest setting which is 24 bit 192,000 hertz which is studio quality, I click on that and then hit OK and now I'm back into my normal 7.1 mode. So basically that's how you install Atmos for Windows 11. And all the files will be linked in the description. One more thing I want to say before we go. So I'm not too sure about AMD, but anyone that's got GeForce or AMD as well, and it has something similar. So open up your, your GeForce experience, click on drivers. So what's going to happen is you you might have your set to automatically download and install. Mine just tells me when it's there. So let's say I'm up to date, but let's say that it's found a new driver. Always go on custom installation 
Now this will take a little bit to load up. Basically, you don't want to download the HD audio drivers because if you do and install them, you will revert back to your normal drivers and you'll lose your Atmos and you'll have to do the process all over again. So basically, you've come in here, you've gone, yep, cool, new version, untick the HD audio driver and then continue on with the installation so that's where your Atmos lies so yeah basically that's how you keep it in the system so I hope this has helped some people out any questions leave it in the comments section uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to click subscribe